Hi, welcome again. Here with another episode. In for a treat. I'm gonna talk about more scenes that pertain to fear. I wanted to start off by making a statement that Martin Luther, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said about his perception of fear. He said that the fear of not being good enough, it's a fear based on hate, envy, and insecurity. It's fear that poisons our lives. I have a really interesting and deep relationship with fear because I've struggled with it all my life ever since I was a young lad and I watched my first horror film. Fear is the great paralyzer to life as my professor, Professor Gilliard, had said to me. And what are, or what is the way to remedy yourself of this fear? And I'll tell you, it's always going back to the drawing board of, this is the word, preparation. Because if you are prepared, you will take action. And that's what it is. I think our minds mentally decay. If we say that we're going to do something, and we don't do it. You should try it. Make a promise and break that promise. See what happens. You live as what Miyamoto Musashi had said. You live to be a liar and nobody wants to be a liar. Miyamoto Musashi said, the truth isn't what you want it to be. It is what it is. And you either bend to it or you live a lie. So with that, I wanted to show you the next scene, which has a lot to do with something I heard on NPR that ended up correlating to the American dream and added as a symbol to what it means to work hard and change your life circumstances. Uh, this is a scene that talks about a food item. So it's going to be abstract and discussed between characters and how they feel inadequacies about themselves. This food item it is pork bun. And for people not familiar with pork bun, it is a pig's rectum. Yes, a pig's rectum. It's their um, part of their body where they expel fecal matter or feces. So yeah, the raw meat of the pork bun will smell literally like feces and it's quite difficult to wash off the smell is very horrific but it has the same texture of a high class food item people like in terms of seafood called calamari. The rubbery chewiness is very mimicked. And so how it all goes is that in this story that I listened to, they were curious to see if they can wash, cut up the pork bun 
and fry it, season it to a point where it was unrecognizable to the fried calamari. And lo and behold, you would not have known the difference. Which a lot of people, they end up having a negative mindset with looking to this idea of uh, fraud. Are people trying to pass off this pork rectum bung as a very high class calamari that people are dishing out dollars for. But no, the story didn't cover it in that sense. It covered it in the sense that no matter what circumstance a person is in, they can change and be molded by the environment to be what they want to be, if they choose to be. And it takes me back to the biblical story of Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ. He always referred to himself, and this is in all the writings of the New Testament and Genesis. He is the Son of Man, humbly, but yet his followers always had to refer to him as the Son of God. So he's both, but ideally why he takes on the title of Son of Man is because he is really in love and excited to represent the human race, man, woman. It's an honor and what that should tell you is that there's greatness in all of us, yes, but there is the power to do good to reconcile and embrace one another in the glory of our life, truth, God, love, light. So yeah, I wrote here, it is a scene that we'll talk about imitation versus the real deal. People can work towards being the real deal. But if they live in fear, they'll always be something that regrets, something that feels that anxiety and a lot of un inaction. And I hope what this scene will do is help us learn to accept ourselves and simply do your best. But sometimes your best ain't good enough. You gotta pray. Pray like your life depended on it. And be humble. Somebody who's watching may give you a helping hand. I know I get help from people, from messages, from listening, having an awareness of where I am right now. I'll end it off with a simple philosophy that I heard in a movie called Kung Fu Panda and I think his name was Uruguay but I'm sure it stems into some Buddhist philosophy and that's if you're looking to the past you will feel depressed or 
it's the reason why you have depression. If you're always too much into the future, planning ahead and having these high expectations, you probably feel a sense of anxiety. I know I do. I'm always so excited to see things end so I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like having a U-Haul truck rental and you just can't wait to return it so you know that nothing can go wrong and you have all these expenses that accrued because somebody hit your vehicle while you're parked. So in order to remedy that, yes, the antidote to fear, we place ourselves, our minds, to the present. And that is why the present is a gift. That's why they call it that. Have a good day. And thank you so much for listening. You all are the bright light, the beacon of light that all children seek help to. Have a wonderful day and stay bright. Shine bright like a diamond.